and the action just coming your way, folks, here at the SWF Warfare. Now it's time for what you've all been waiting for, the Big Kahuna, the whole enchilada. This is the main event. This is going to be Tyler Frank squaring off against Mr. Blanco for the Arena Championship, the most coveted gold in the Shroud Wrestling Federation. You know, these two have really come full circle in the SWF. Back when Mr. Blanco first came to the Federation, he fought Tyler Frank in his first match, a hardcore title match. And now, here they are again fighting after being tag team partners for almost two years and holding the tag team trophy that entire time. Absolutely. You know, when I think of SWF, when I think of the Short Wrestling Federation, that is, I think of these two individuals reigning supreme as the tag team champs. This was a shocker. The fans were completely stunned, and I tell you what, I cannot understand why Tyler Frenick did what he did. It is very exciting seeing these two fight each other in the ring. I'm so used to seeing them fight side by side against the likes of the Colonel and Urban Saint, but now Tyler is joined with the Colonel and Urban Saint, and Mr. Blanco has been left out on his own to fend for himself, and now he's fighting back. And here we go. You know what? He doesn't even look like a champion at this time. Tyler Frannick is coming back with some stomps, and now what is he doing? He's lifting him up in the air. He's look at that carrying strength. around like nothing. Matt. Tyler Frannick's known for his brute force and powerful execution of his moves. Look at him, he's just taking it right back to Mr. Blanco. Now he's taunting for the crowd. Oh, with the low blow. And you know what? Despite that being a cheap move, he deserves that. You cannot taunt for the fans. And Mr. Blanco keeps applying the pressure. He is not going to give Tyler Frannick one minute break on this one. He up on the mid steps of death, up in the air. That's where Mr. Blanco is most dangerous in the spinning, flipping leg drop. Proves once again his aerial dominance. Tyler Frank's walking around on spaghetti legs, and Mr. Blanco takes him down with a punch to the head. This has been one hell of a battle, folks. Kamikaze suplex. I tell you what, Tyler Frank has got some amazing suplexes in his arsenal. He is the master of suplexes, and he's going to take it to him. Oh, is he going for another one here? Well, I think they're fighting for control now. Mr. Blanco definitely controlled the beginning of the match, but Tyler Frannick is starting to take over. This is not a good position for Mr. Blanco. He needs to get out of here fast or it's going to be dangerous. What is this? The pile driver drops Mr. Blanco on his neck and he rolls outside of the ring. Tyler Frannick should have kept him in the ring and went for the cover. No, but instead Tyler Frannick's going to make a foolish mistake and taunt for the fans. Comes back with the DDT into the submission hole. Mr. Blanco is stranded in the middle of the ring. There's no way he's reaching those ropes. I don't know how he's going to get out of this one. Well, there you go. You can always just cheat. Mr. Blanco with an eye poke right in Tyler Frannick's pupil. Oh, the kick to the head. Tyler Frannick is definitely dazed after that. Oh, look at those shutters. The medulla oblongata shot with the shutters. I tell you what, I have seen some innovative moves come out of Mr. Blanco recently. And the action spills onto the outside of the ring. This is what the fans come to see. Absolutely. This is where they pay the top dollar. That's why they get these coveted ringside seats. <laughs> Miss Hobongo is virtually buried under a pile of debris. Tyler Frannick just puts his foot on top and poses for the crowd. Mr. Blanco has definitely dug himself a hole to come out of. He's just getting hit with foreign object after foreign object. Oh, and it's all heart now, folks. They are completely fatigued. They are worn down. They have nothing left. They can barely lift their arms up to battle. Slam his head into the metal cabinet. And what is Tyler grabbing? Is that a, it's a backboard? Backboard. What's he gonna do with it? Uh, well, yeah. It looks like he's gonna make a makeshift table out of that with the chairs and the backboard. Whatever it's going to do, it doesn't look good for Mr. Blanco. He better come out of his days quick and try to reverse this move. Oh, uh, this looks dangerous, Chip. I can't, I can't bear to watch. Oh, man, that is just sick. A modified inverted suplex in the backboard. One, two, three. And Tyler Frannick has defended his arena championship belt here tonight in front of a record attendance crowd of... 25. This is definitely going to go down as one of the greatest matches in the history because this is all just a bitter, bitter rivalry between these two individuals. You know, I don't understand how the crowd is so much behind Tyler Frannick. He stabbed his partner in the back. Mr. Blanco and Tyler Frannick have always been fan favorites, but come on. Mr. Blanco is laying in the ring at the expense of his own tag team partner. This sickens me. 